In this lecture, we're going to write our first C++ console application using Qt Creator. But before we start, what is a console application in the first place? Well, you are already familiar with uh, GUI applications and Qt Creator is one of those where you have a GUI and buttons and things you can click on to really interact with your application. But there are other kinds of applications that have a screen of text that you really interact with and you have no way to use the mouse to click on things to have different effects. If you are on Windows, you can come on start and type CMD and you're going to see a program like this. This is a console application and you interact with that using commands. For example, I can type in IP config and do slash all to see the IP configuration of my computer. Okay, so for example, this is my IP address, 192, 168, 1, and 100. There are many commands you can run to really see the status of your computer or do all kinds of different things. What I want you to know for now is that a console application is something like this, and we're going to be building an application like this in this lecture. So without waiting anymore, let's head to Qt Creator and write that application. So we are here in Qt Creator. You go on the file menu here and you choose new file or project. Uh, you see a window like this. So we choose a non-Qt project because it's a console application, a plain C++ application that we're going to build. So we choose plain C++ application. We hit the choose button here, and we are given the dialog to give our project a name. Okay, I'm going to name this one dash four console, and I want to save it in the online courses, Qt GUI and course code. I'm going to hit next and I'm going to choose QMake here. Don't change it. Hit next. And this is where you choose the kit that you want to use in your C++ application. You notice that I have many kits installed. I have a kit for Visual Studio. It uses Qt55. I have a kit for MinGW for the same version of Qt55. I also have a kit for Qt5.10.1, which uses MinGW as a compiler. And this is the one I want to choose. You should choose the latest version in this course. I am running Qt5.5 here because I have a few projects that use it, but you should choose the latest version if you have no other reason to run an old version of Qt. So we hit next and we are given an overview of things we have set up in our application so we hit finish and after we do that we have a main cpp file generated for us and this is the most basic c application you can have the first thing i want to do is to run it and see what it does okay so let's open the compile output pane we're going to hit the green button to run the application and you can see it compiling and after it runs you see that it prints hello world on the console screen okay this is what our application does it says hello world okay now that you've seen this application running i'd like to explain it a little bit if you're not familiar with c plus plus the first line here is including a library that is going to help us read and write things from our application in our case, we are using Cout, which is a thing from the IO stream library. And we use this Cout thing to output things to the screen. You just saw those things. And the ENDL thing here is there to give us a new line character after we output something to the screen. To show what I mean here, let's take this thing out and put another line here. So say Cout put these two less than characters and say, how are you doing? And we put the semicolon here. 
and every line in C++ code should end by a semicolon. You should know that. Okay, so let's run the application. You see that it says, hello world, how are you doing on the same line? And by now you should have seen that the EMDL thing takes us to the new line. So let's add it again and run the application again so that you see this. Okay, so we put it again. Close the application first, run it again. And you see that we have the output to two separate lines. This is what this does. Every C++ application has a main function. Okay, this is a main function you see here. It has a return type, which is an integer in this case. It has a function name, which is main in this case. We have the arguments to the function that can be here. Well, but we're not using arguments in this case, so this is left empty. The other thing you should see is that this function has a return statement. This is a way for a function to report uh, something about what it was doing. In this case, it is saying it finished correctly by returning a zero. I'm going to have a chance to explain more on this later in the course. For now, you should really take this structure. Every C++ application has a main function, and the purpose of that main function is to provide kind of an entry point where your application is going to start. Okay, now that we've written our first C++ console application, please try it again. Try to output things of your own and really get familiar with this structure. In the next lecture, we're going to talk more about these C out things, which are really streams to help you input and output things from your application. I'll see you there.